so you finally, finally opened Earthbound's debug menu. Well, that was fun. Kind of, you say, now realizing that now that you have it open, you have no idea what to do with it. That's what this video is here for, my friend. Welcome to the Ultimate Earthbound Debug Menu Translation Guide. This guide tells you absolutely everything you can do in the debug menu with English translations. Let's get straight into it. P-E-T-I-N-S-T-T-I -T -T is going to allow you to edit your party. K-W-E-R will allow you to add party members, while H-Z-S will let you delete them. Here's the screen that shows up when you want to add a party member, and here it is in English. When wanting to remove a party member, simply select the number of the position that the party member you want to remove is in. Doing this seems to freak the game out just a little bit. Next, we have TKSYZYUTI, which allows you to put a status ailment on a party member. When selecting this, the game will ask you who you want to inflict pain on, then show a menu of all the different ailments. Here it is in English. It's worth noting that when teleporting out of this area, it's possible to lose items you were given through the debug menu, and it's possible that the game crashes altogether. This menu is your saving grace. Select Ness and any other party members you have, and use DIY to diamondize them. Exit the menu and you will be back at your last save with all of your items. From my experience, this has been the most consistent way to exit the debug menu. Up next, we have OKNNSTTI, which allows you to edit your money. Here's the menu it brings up, and here it is in English. Up next, we have M-S-Y-U-N-S-K-R-P-T, which is seemingly useless as the first three options freeze the game once the action is complete, and the last two are unique ATMs towards the end of the game that charge you for withdrawing, which are useless on their own, but especially useless since there's a money edit within the menu as well. Here's the menu in English, just in case you're curious. HNTY is one of my favorite options, even though it's pretty useless as well. Entering numbers 1 through 80 will recite every hint from the hint man in the game. As someone who never bothered to pay for a hint, reading these for the first time was pretty neat. Entering 0 or any number 81 through 99 will return you to the debug menu. STMI is also pretty neat because it contains the descriptions for every item in the game. Entering a number 1 through 253 will allow you to read whatever you want to your heart's content. Enter 0 to return. Here's a list of all the items if you want to read any specific one. I'll leave this list in the description as well. HNTTZ is an interesting one as should you press it, go to the library and grab yourself a map, you'll notice that all the Hintman locations are marked on your map. Truly incredible. GTZ STTI is arguably the most useful part of the menu, Goods Edit. Selecting GTZ KWER allows you to add any item in the game into your inventory. The same list from before still applies, and number 35 is the Sword of Kings if you're wondering. ZYUYU GTZ allows you to add only key items, here's the list in English. You can also do this with GTZ KWER, which was the previous option. GTZ MNTN maxes out your inventory with Skip Sandwich DXs. Fantastic. GTZ SKZY allows you to empty your inventory. Selecting ZNB will make everyone's inventories disappear, while SNTK allows you to select what to get rid of by item, even key items. AZK RSY MNTN is interesting. It fills up Escargo Expresses and, by extension, Tracy's inventory with all of the best weapons and equipment in the game. AZK RSYKR, in contrast, will clear Escargo's and Tracy's inventory of all all items. Last but certainly not least, we have SIKYUBK, which gives all party members some of the best gear in the game, although interestingly, not always the absolute best. Here's the menu in English. Next up is IDU, which allows you to go to an area. Here's the list in English. RBRATP is another one of the most important actions, as it allows you to edit your level. Selecting ZNIN will allow you to edit the whole party, while HTR edits a single member. Entering 0 will return you to the debug menu, rather than changing all your party members to level 0. IBNT allows you to go to an event, rather than an area. Here's the list in English. It's important to note that using this will give you a set amount of items and a set level, meaning you won't be able to carry anything you do in the debug menu through to the event. Now we have SUND, Sound. BGM changes the background music. Here's a list of all the songs it can play, and number 105 is Poke Means Business because I know you need that. SE plays a sound effect, and there's 999. I'm not going to list these since I don't even know what most of them are, but if you absolutely need some, there's a page on starman.net which has all the important ones. I'll leave a link in the description. 
effect dramatically changes the music you're currently listening to. Most numbers don't seem to do anything, but here's what I can notice. 2 quickly fades out the music to silence. 3 slowly fades out the music to silence. 5 significantly speeds up the music for about 2 seconds, which is hilarious. If you can input 6 fast enough, it will stop 5. 7 lowers the volume. 8 stops 7. 9 makes the melody really high-pitched and just not right for a little while. Or a long while? I don't know, it seems really random. 10 stops 9. Sometimes. Also random. 11 removes the melody. 12 sounds like 9 with more emphasis on different parts of the song. 13 sounds like 12. 16 makes the melody weird and everything is quieter except for the drums. 21 makes everything objectively better. 22 stops 21. 23 makes everything really quiet. 24 stops 23. 25 through 99 don't appear to do anything, and entering 0 returns you to the menu. TRP T is last, which is teleport. Entering 1 performs a teleport alpha, which I'd assume teleports you to Saturn Valley if you can pull it off. Entering 2 performs a spinning teleport, which I'm pretty sure is impossible to complete in this area, thus I'm not sure where it goes. Entering 3 performs Teleport Omega to Saturn Valley, and Entering 4 performs an uncontrollable but also unbonkable spinning teleport to Saturn Valley. Entering 0 or 5 through 9 will return you to the debug menu. And that's it! I hope this video helps you do whatever you open the debug menu in the first place for. If you just did it for fun, go ahead and give yourself the Sword of Kings, you deserve it. If you have any questions or random statements, leave them in the comments. I'll check out and respond to as many as I can. And if you have any ideas for content, let me know as well. I'm down to do pretty much whatever. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and remember, my fellow Starmen, to never underestimate yourselves. Peace! <laughs>